What's up guys, in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this sticker label you can use for your social network icons, you can use it on websites, backgrounds, intros, whatever you like really. So let's get started, you want to create a new file. I'm going to be doing it 1440 by 900 and I'm just going to make the background a dark red like you saw in the previous image and then you want to create a circle now to create a perfect circle without it going all kind of weird shape like this just hold down shift whilst you drag it out and it will create a perfect circle for you it's a bit bigger than my uh, previous one so now that's done you want to create another circle and this time I'm going to do it blue as I'm doing Facebook Facebook usually uses blue so I'll be using blue for this video and this sticker so just drag that out like so didn't change the colour right change it there There you go. For some reason that wasn't working, I don't know why. But I'll drag that out and I'm going to rasterize the two shape layers. Now, once you've done that, you've got your kind of basis of your sticker. Then I'm going to go onto my graphics pack and my uh, editing resources. I've got my textures. Now, in textures, you've got this texture called Poster Wall. I'm going to drag this on and place it underneath your blue circle but above the grey circle then just create a clipping mask and as you can see it already gives this kind of sticker effect which looks quite nice then you want to just duplicate this layer and drag it above the blue circle and create a clipping mask again and then changing it to overlay so now that's done you can see that the uh, creases like are aligned and it makes it look really realistic so that looks good for the next part I'm just going to add the text which is an F and it is the font to Homer which I think comes standard with Windows uh, so now all you need to do really is add the finishing touches and the peel so to create the peel you want to grab the colour from your back circle, your grey circle then you want to create another circle like that and now all you need of this circle is this tiny bit here so you want to rasterize this layer and if you hold down control and click on your bottom circle which is the grey circle when that's selected just click on right click just right click and select inverse or go to select and select inverse and whilst that's selected just press control and X and it should delete it like that and all you're left with is this little crease this little kind of peely long overly shape <coughs> once that's done you want to do the same thing with the poster wall and duplicate that and drag it above like that and click on normal so make sure the blending option is normal so it's the same colour as your outer grey circle if it's not when you come to making it just feel free to go through all the different blending options until you find the right colour luminosity works the same as normal so yep once it's on normal you want to do the little shadow underneath so for doing that you need to duplicate the small oval just hide the clipping mask layer for now don't be too worried when you get presented with this just hide the texture and drag this out and get rid of this top hemisphere there and then you're left with this shape again then you want to double click and click on uh, colour overlay and then change the colour to black now once you've done that you need to go to filter you need to go to filter 
blur and Gaussian blur and just do it enough so it looks like a realistic shadow I think that should probably be enough then just drag it like that over the top and then on your layers drag the copy underneath the original shape so you get this nice shadow going across here now you've done that reactivate your poster wall texture and clip on create clipping mask again now just to smooth out this uh, this shadow use your eraser tool just to go around it like that now the final touch to this well the penultimate touch if you like is just to by using your let me just let me just tell you the uh, tool I'm using the polygonal lasso tool just do a diagonal line across your sticker like this doesn't matter how you reconnect it as long as you've got this straight line here and just delete and cut out that shape click on select reselect then go on your blue circle cut that as well select reselect and your back grey so there you go you've got your peeling sticker like that which looks really nice to add the final touch just add a drop shadow to your sticker I think it looks really nice when you do that so yeah that's pretty much it for how to create your social networking stickers remember to comment subscribe and like and favourite this video as it helps me a lot. Comment in the section below with any tutorial ideas you have and I'll see you guys later.